You're watching election 2019 coverage from WBON-TV.com. Democratic candidate for state auditor Chris Toby says he is no stranger to the office as he was hired decades ago to work for former Kentucky State Auditor Ed Hatchett out of the private sector. Toby says he was hired to work on the state pensions, which is a critical and contentious issue that continues to this day. He continues, saying that the office should not have any partisan leanings and that there needs to be change in the office, which led him to throw his hat in the ring for the May primary. The past week work, he says, led to the oversight of illegal investments being made for the governor's benefit. Toby adds that his first order of business, if elected, would be a thorough audit of KRS to replace the work of the current administration. In the end, Toby says the biggest bang for the taxpayer buck is to overhaul the pension system. I have been in the financial world for over 30 years. I have a master's degree in finance and accounting. I've worked in uh, as a bank trust officer. I've worked in insurance companies and also spent three years with the state auditor, Ed Hatchett. I've been really active in, in the pension area uh, for, for a long, long time. I also served as a trustee for four years on the Kentucky Retirement Systems Board. And I helped write a lot of the laws and legislations around pensions. And one of the laws was that the state auditor was to audit the state pension plan every five years. And when I saw the audit that came out over the holidays here in December uh, by Auditor Harmon, I was very upset because I think it, it uh, forgot to mention a lot of illegal things in the audit. Illegal trustee making illegal investments. You know, I've written a book called Kentucky Fried Pensions and I've both been critical of both Democratic and Republican governors. So no matter who becomes the governor, I will, I will hold them accountable. First off, I would do and redo the pension that the former auditor does if I get elected. And we would go in and bring a lot more transparency into the audit process. The investments, the things we have a lot of offshore investments in the Cayman Islands, hedge funds that I do not think are legal, and I'm going to shine some light on those. There's also a method of which uh, the, the board at Retirement Systems has forced assumptions down that has become a big burden on state and local governments. You, ha you have to do the statute, what we call the statutory part of the job which is the county audit division and the state audit division. So the county audits, you, do, you go and you, they alternate years between the different county offices, and there's a, there's a full-time professional staff who's doing that. So I would ex expect that to stay pretty much the way it is. I think I, there's some little tweaks I might make to it, but it'll pretty much stay the way it is. Kentucky has been named one of the most corrupt states by two different surveys, uh, Illinois State and Harvard. So it's real hard to say that there just needs to be a more transparency in government overall. And so part of it is to try to change the culture of Frankfurt and a, and a, you know, a very strong uh, independent auditor, I think, can do that. And again, the place I'm starting with is going to be the pensions, which have still lots of issues. But it, we need to kind of make that flow all through the government. I mean, there's things like the Brady industry, some of these economic development deals, uh, Kentucky Wire, that all need to have have scrutiny on them to make sure taxpayers are getting their money's worth out of them. My message is that, you know, I've, I've got the experience and the qualifications to hit the ground running with this office. I've done, I've been in the office for three years. I know where a lot of the bodies are buried. I can go in there and make an immediate impact, especially in the pensions, but in all, in many of the other areas as well. And so that's why I think that you need somebody in the auditor's office who wants to be the auditor. I don't want to be the governor. I'm not, this is not a stepping stone for me. This is what I want to be. I want to do the auditor. I want to do the auditor's job. And I think Kentucky needs somebody who's going to dedicate themselves to uh, being a watchdog for um, uh, taxpayer dollars. You're watching election 2019 coverage from WBONTV.com.